warnable. Nicholas Bowden was a sailor in the 1830s and one day he's just travelling along and discovers this bay, decides to call it the Bay of Warnable. Today over 30,000 people live in Warnable and in the summertime it can more than double, it's crazy. I can't figure out why, so today I'm making a video to find out what is our greatest tourist attraction and what brings people to Warnable. So sit back, enjoy and uh, hopefully we can find something. First stop, Flagstaff Hill, a maritime village telling the history of Warrnambool and surrounding areas. Seems pretty amazing, but could it be the reason that thousands of people come to Warrnambool? I don't think so, and to be honest I really didn't want to spend my money to go in there. So I sort of just sat around the bin for a while, swatting flies and thinking of what really could be the greatest tourist attraction. Warnable, for sure. For sure this is the reason that people are coming to Warnable. For sure this is one of the greatest tourist attractions in the whole world. It's obvious. Now that I think about it, I don't even know why I bothered to make this video. It's obviously the most greatest tourist attraction in the whole world. The reason that people leave and go on holidays is to go to the beach, right? Maybe it's just today, so I thought I wouldn't let this ruin my experience and decided to go for a walk through the seaweed anyways. As I was trudging around, I noticed it got quite soft and I started to get wet feet. I wasn't having the greatest experience, so I thought it might be better to try a bit more of a traditional beach experience and try making some sand angels instead. That was way more fun. However, time to move on to the next experience. Lake Batobe an amazing part in the middle of Warrnambool full of nature and wildlife. What a great place to have an experience and this has got to be the reason why people are coming to Warrnambool. So we figured without even taking a second chance, we'd just go straight on an adventure of our own and jumped over some rocks. It was quite successful. Before we knew it, we come over the hill and found a nice little bird and I figured, what a great experience, maybe I'll make a new friend. Maybe he was just a shy bird, so we decided to keep moving on and look for our adventure. As I was getting across this bridge, I found something absolutely amazing in the water and needed to stop and have a look at it straight away. Someone's old stinky boot. By now I was getting pretty tired, so I decided I needed a rest and sat on a bench. However, pretty much immediately I discovered this bird coming straight at me, and I figured, maybe birds are friendly here. Maybe this wanted to be my friend, so I put my hand out. As he started walking past, I realised pretty quickly that wasn't the case. This can't be the reason why people are coming to Warrnambool. It's time to move on to our next location. Warrnambool Breakwater The breakwater was built between 1874 and 1890 to provide ships with the greatest protection of the Southern Ocean. At this time, Warrnambool handled more cargo than the Port of Melbourne. The Warrnambool Breakwater is a great and beautiful place, but unless you've travelled here for fishing, this can't be the reason that you've come to Warrnambool. Surely there's something greater. Middle Island. Of course, this just about ticks all the boxes. It has nature, wildlife and it's beautiful. Also, just after I arrived, I noted a massive pack of birds and thought this is the chance I needed to make that bird friend I wanted. So without even thinking about it, I decided to walk straight to them. Using maths of course, one of them wants to be my friend, right? At this point, I'm starting to think that there's not one reason that people are coming to Warrnambool. And maybe it's just a bunch of reasons that people are coming to Warrnambool. But that would be boring, right? I needed somewhere to take a break and reassess this whole situation. Pretty much giving up hope, I found myself sitting underneath a giant silver ball eating a banana thinking, 
Maybe this has been a complete waste of time. Maybe there isn't one great tourist attraction in Warrnambool. This really had me stumped. And then I remembered something amazing. Something I had visited a long time ago. Something that could easily be the greatest tourist attraction in Warrnambool. The giant cheese grater. Of course, this is easily the greatest tourist attraction in Warrnambool. Maybe even the greatest tourist attraction in the world. I can't even believe I didn't think of this before. Other towns have giant animals, giant fruits, giant everything. But nobody has a giant cheese grater. This has got to be the greatest giant anything in the whole world. After spending as much time as we possibly could at the giant cheese grater, we decided our journey had pretty much come to an end. And there wasn't really much to do other than to play a compilation with an amazing hip hop beat. So enjoy. On the bench, on the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bands. Spending all the back, like here I go again. Here I go again. Outside says the chirp, not a camera phone. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on. Why you acting different when the camera's on? Why you acting different like your paper long? A day wake up and I thank God. Bad decision got you wishing you could say nah. I say the giddy, you could get hit any day now. Nah. On my mama, I'ma move, I'm finally way out. With some twenties, fifties, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, zillions. I'm talking Amazon money, talking so much money I could mess around and buy Amazon. I been winning, I'm like, why me? I heard these labels wanna buy me. I don't need you, boo, I style me. I roll G's and they grind me Now I'm on my game, nothing is the same Who am I to blame, money made me change Cardi in my ring when I'm switching lanes Money in the carry on them boy planes Money in the carry on them boy planes Now I got a buck for all those rainy days